Good evening viewers, welcome to the Islam Tribune, you are watching Superfast N. I am Monisha and here are the top 10 stories of the day. After Cyclone Rimmel caused extensive damage across the state, the Kamrup District Administration directed the suspension of Guwahati North Guwahati Ferry Services for May 29, 2024 due to the rising water level of the Brahmaputra River. Furthermore, the ramps above the river, which were made of bamboo and wood, were damaged due to the cyclone. Therefore, new ramps are currently under construction. The water level of the Barak River in Silchar is rising rapidly, causing panic among the nearby residents as the level was measured at 19.22 meters against the danger level of 19.83 meters at Annapurna Ghat on Wednesday noon. Sources said the water level has increased by 9 meters since May 27. Severe flooding has struck several regions of Assam following the opening of dam gates by the Northeastern Electric Power Corporation Limited. Due to incessant rains and strong winds, Nipco released water from the Kabi Langpi hydroelectric project and the Khangdong Dam, causing the Kopili and Borapani rivers to overflow. In a heart wrenching incident, a two month old baby was allegedly killed by his father at the Kaplankusi village near. Barapujia on Tuesday. The accused, identified as Swarat Senapati, 22 years old, has been apprehended and the infant was beaten to death by his father in the afternoon when his mother was busy doing household work outside the home. The district administration in Barpata issued a new order on May 28, viewing the probability of incessant rainfall due to cyclonic storm Rimmel. According to the order, the movement of all departmental and private boats, vessels, operating ferries and boat services within the district will be suspended on May 29, 2024. However, emergency services have been exempted from this order. In a tragic incident, a person died after going for a bath in the Bhogdar River in Assam, Jorhat. Severe cyclone Rimmel caused extensive damage in several parts of the state and increased the water level of the river. However, the person identified as Jyoti Prasad Das, age 50, went for a bath at the river. One person has died and four others were injured in separate incidents in Meghalaya due to widespread devastation caused by Cyclone Rimmel. As per sources, a person at Velong village in East Gentia district died after the wall of the house collapsed on Tuesday. On the other hand, in a separate incident, four people sustained injuries after a landslide occurred at Molai Bypass. Indian shuttler and two-time Olympic medalist P.V. Sindhu clinched a comfortable win in the first round of the Singapore Open 2024 against Denmark's Lionhoch Mark on Wednesday. The Indian shuttler beat her Danish opponent by 12-21 and 20-22 in the first round match of the women's singles. In a new move to grapple with its neighbor, North Korea has come up with an idea of using enormous balloons to transport floating sacks of trash containing filth across the border. The military had detected some 260 balloons sent from the north since Tuesday night which fell in various locations across the country. The Ministry for National Defense of Taiwan detected 13 Chinese military aircraft, 5 naval vessels and 4 coast guards ships around Taiwan. This comes amid the island's growing tensions with Beijing in recent times. The Chinese aircraft and naval vessels were tracked between 6 a.m. on Tuesday, May 28 and 6 a.m. on Wednesday, May 29. That's all the news we have for you today on Superfast 10. Thank you for joining us. For more news and updates, stay connected with us on social media. Tune in again at the same time. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the Assam Tribune.